Hello? Woo! <laughs> what the freak? Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and you might be wondering, why am I wearing a Doom Guy helmet? And I answer that question with, well, why not? But today, we're going to be talking about the Shadow Society Collection event. It is coming next Tuesday with the brand new Universal Heirloom. However, with all the awesome stuff coming, including a bunch of patch notes we're going to go over, there is one huge issue looming over it, and that's whether or not you can even log into Apex Legends safely. So we're going to go over all the stuff going on. We're also going to go ahead and give out some of these skins that will be allowed for the collection event. All you guys got to do is like, comment, subscribe, and you are entered for a chance to win without further ado let's jump into today's topic so most of you did see the brand new trailer for the shadow society collection event yesterday it gave us a lot of information such as the next heirloom a lot of the skins what they're basically going to be reworking heirlooms into the future however the trailer was not that well received when i actually went ahead and looked it almost had the same amount of dislikes as it had likes and this seems to be a growing trend in apex legends but the question is well why exactly is it so disliked because there is a lot of good stuff in this event they did rework the entire legend cast basically doing buffs and nerfs for a lot of legends which is always something we really want to see the only one that actually doesn't really matter is the fact that lifeline is getting a little bit of a change but they are temporary upgrades because lifeline is going to be getting a new set of upgrades once her rework is released which is the lifeline reborn most of us know about not to mention there is a brand new ltm coming in which is called lockdown and it's a four squad free for all battle for dominance that's right you can now play up to four people which also confirms that solos mode is coming to apex legends as i talked about in yesterday's video as well because that was in the original leak you get standard tdm loadouts and you seek out capture zones thunderdome skull town zoo station and monument you earn points by capturing zones holding them uncontested and eliminating other players the first squad to 500 points wins this is all absolutely fantastic and i'm really really happy about that it's great that we're getting a new ltm there's even a free reward shop that's right you'll be able to get an epic horizon along with some packs and other cosmetics if you play the shadow society event and i'm going to be honest these are some of my favorite skins I've seen in a long time. The Lifeline one is actually Fire. Ballistic is very cool. Horizon is great. And Revenant is probably my favorite. I don't know why they always absolutely go so hard on his skins, but they're great. So why with all of this? Oh, wait, I forgot. There is more. Three Strikes is also coming back, which is also my favorite LTM of all time. So with all this awesome stuff coming, why is this event so disliked on YouTube? Well, it's not hard to see because the brand new heirloom coming in is a universal heirloom that is going to be fully customized and it's called the Cobalt Qatar. Now, you might be thinking, that's great, it's a universal heirloom, just like the Buster Sword, there's no reason to dislike that. Well, there actually kind of is, because it turns out Kral Rindo was right about EA absolutely destroying Apex Legends and Respawn, and he also gave us some more information that the devs are actually leaking this information out because they are frustrated with EA, because EA is the one who decided to make this no longer a free heirloom that was earned, but instead something that was going to be a massive profit for them. See, to unlock this thing, you can get it randomly in a pack, but to get every single pack is between $290 and $300 as he points out here and each pack you get gets more and more expensive which is basically a giant gacha machine. This also basically confirms that we will not be getting new legend heirlooms anytime in the near future as they are going to be focusing on universal heirlooms that will be customizable for up to $700. That is right. That is the most recent figure given by Carl Rindo and if the customization actually goes up to $700 that is a huge huge mistake I believe on EA's part. Not to mention if you get every single Apex pack in this you will be rewarded with another heirloom heirloom death box why are we getting another heirloom death box i felt like the community reaction was pretty standard on the fact that we did not like the death box that everyone just wanted the buster sword maybe i'm wrong but you got to do better cosmetics than a death box and Kral Rindo did confirm just if you're wanting to get this heirloom that there's going to be a different variant of this heirloom that will be returning next season they've already started working on the next one which once again confirms we will not be getting regular heirlooms anymore and none of this would be that big of a problem i mean no matter what you do it's going to be a free-to-play game so you don't have to buy any of the cosmetics but less than a week ago apex legends got hacked and they did confirm basically by saying that the game and player security are the highest priority Priority, and that they deployed the first of a layered series of updates to protect the Apex Legends community and create a secure experience for everyone. That basically means that it was on their side to a degree, otherwise there wouldn't be anything to deploy in terms of an update. Because if it was something with Hal or Jen that they clicked on something, there would, once again, like I just said, be no reason for Apex Legends to deploy an update. They can't do anything about that. So clearly something's going wrong with the respawn. They have not said what exactly the security issue was, nor is it 100% safe to play the game right now, yet we're getting a collection event that's putting a universal heirloom in front of us for a total cost of 700 when all is said and done 
along with a death box. I love all the content and updates they added in this new update. It is absolutely fantastic. The new mode is great. The free reward shop is awesome, but they are completely tone deaf if they are going to try to sell us a $700 cosmetic while their game is being hacked by a 15 year old kid. Not to mention, I am really, really tired of six manners on console. I'm gonna go ahead and play this clip right here, but this is just getting absolutely absurd. How are you so bad using his end on a six man team? You can't even kill them. <laughs> on an actual squad. Let me know down below, what are your guys' thoughts on the upcoming Apex Legends collection event? Are you guys excited or are you still worried about your security? And also, if you guys are looking for some cool new information on Helldivers 2, I have a video right here where I'm talking about a bunch of the new stuff coming to the game. And until next time, Legends, keep slinging the Outlands. I'll see you out there.